we have got our floor model regulator here. We are going to take it apart and show you the inside components and how to do any repair on it. I'm taking my last screw out right now. There are a total of nine screws. When you take it apart, the uh, diaphragm and that mechanism will stay on the top portion. The bottom portion is our adjuster knob with a spring inside. You want to make sure the spring is clear, not rusted, corroded, or anything like that. And then make sure that's good, and you can set that to the side. We're going to take our top portion. We've got our diaphragm with our disc on the bottom, and there's a nut that holds that together. You can slip that off of the knobs there and slide it off of the pivot arm. If your diaphragm, check your diaphragm for any holes, uh, make sure it's good. We recommend when replacing the diaphragm that you buy the whole assembly. Uh, we do sell them separately, but there's some wear and tear on the plastic components over time that it's best to just replace the whole assembly. We are going to take our pivot arm off. And that should, just by loosening the one side out, we should be able to slide that out of there. There is a rubber wafer on that pivot arm that on the intake seats up against that. Uh, that is reversible. So if you uh, need, need to do any repair, you can pop that out of there and flip it over. I use my fingernail, but you can use a screwdriver or something with an edge. You just want to be careful not to damage it in the process of doing so. So if, if you've got wear on the one side, uh, the biggest cause of wear, excessive wear on that is by putting your intake on and off without relieving the pressure on it by pushing up on the adjuster knob. You can pull, pop that out. The other side is good and flat. You just snap that back in there and then you can reassemble your pivot arm on, onto the regulator. When reassembling it, you're going to push your pivot arm up towards the intake hole. There is a slot on the on the plastic piece here that slides onto, there's two fingers basically on that pivot arm. They slide into that. You're going to rotate your diaphragm to snap onto the, the plastic pegs to hold it into place. We seat the two back together, getting the plastic pegs in the proper alignment. And then you reinsert all of your screws and you should be good to go.